And so we're here at uh, Heroes. So who are you? Many different right. forms for all the different So I'm Stefan Kaifmeyer. I'm responsible for the business unit display and semiconductor. And uh, we are here displaying as the business unit the uh, conductive polymer PIDO. So uh, you're doing all kinds of uh, products. So what does Heroes do? So Heroes. Heroes is, is, is a pretty, pretty his, historic company. Um, it is now 160 years old, family owned, and it's specialized in precious metals. 100, how much? 160. 160 year old company. So it started up uh, with the with the technology of how to melt platinum, and uh, now it has it diversified into many many different uh, business groups, and this includes things like uh, quartz glass, it includes. Um, light sources, special light sources, it includes uh, metal parts, but also now something like a polymer, like P-dot, a blue liquid. So, where are you from? So, I'm from Germany. I'm located in the Cologne area in Leverkusen, which is the uh, former Bayer plant site. <laughs> the former what? Bayer plant site. You know aspirin? Okay. Aspirin, Bayer, aspirin. So, okay. we are located on, on, the, on, on the old plant site. Of and where is Heroes? Only the, everywhere, um, many the places. Head, head, headquarter headquarter is in, in Hanau near Frankfurt. It has uh, in total, I think, mm, 125 locations. 125 locations. All right. So um, we're looking at all kinds of different things. And uh, which parts do you work on? So I work on the conductive polymers. Um, and, uh, conductive polymers. Oh, sorry. Oh, the conductive polymers. Basically, uh, blue liquids, yeah, no when, when, um, which are used for coating. And after coating, they basically transfer into a um, uh, transparent conductive film. And uh, out of this conductive film, that's, that's what we have to try to demonstrate over here. We have nice objects which were made by partners from us. On this conductive film, they uh, glued LEDs and um, what is here demonstrated is that the film really transfers the electrical current. Yes, if I touch over here, a little, little switch, it goes on, it goes off, and also it dims, dims up, it dims down. So this is the this is the prize that uh, you give out for the Best of Show Awards, right? So, something like this. So basically, um, the, uh, these guys, so this demonstrator, which was a very early one, uh, was the intention was to attract people, and it links, and that's, that's, that's actually what it does. It attracts people. People ask, what is it, and then we can explain our product. This looks great. So how soon are they going to be like a furniture in Ikea like this or something? Um, I would love to see this. Um, actually, after making this demonstrator for us, this company actually thought about buying a pick-and-place automat and starting to sell this film. Buying what, sorry? Uh, buying an automat. How I mean, this, this was handmade, so somebody yeah. had to glue all this by hand on the film. Uh, now, using an automat to, to, to uh, glue the LEDs on the film. So, automatically glue it. Yeah, yeah. that's a so-called pick-and-place automat. So, they want to buy that and they want to make millions of these. So, what, what are you showing right here? This one. What is this? So, this is a little bit more realistic. Um, this is a, a part you could find in a tablet uh, computer. Um, this is the touch panel and it locates the finger. And uh, so you do uh, many of these already? So, with this principle, um, we have already commercial commercial um, devices out there. I would like to disclose who it is, but uh, unfortunately cannot. I cannot. So, uh, does this potentially go into uh, flexible, unbreakable, plastic, or where does it go? It's, it's currently going into consumer electronics. And it's a, it could be glass. It could be. It could. It, it's currently it is some sort of um, a plastic plastic device. Plastic device. Right. It is. It has some some sort of curvature. So it is using the special feature of P dot, meaning P dot P dot is flexible and um, can be easily shaped into different different shapes without breaking. And so the mechanics of P dot are definitely something which is unique for, for this polymer. So what do you think about uh, the future of unbreakable phones and tablets and uh, flexible and bending phones on purpose, you know? 
I think that basically two things. First of all, I think people would like to have something different than just flat area, flat areas. Um, they would like to have it shaped. What is currently done is now shaping it two-dimensionally, but having a little bit more tridimensionally shaped is, is a clear, clearly a challenge because then something like thermal molding is necessary. And this is not possible with current materials. So you're talking about a tablet that has uh, different heights that has a right. you touch it and maybe you make a kind of like a hole in it and maybe like a like a touch screen which forms to my fingers and that could give feedback and best would be it could it can give you feedback i mean this is this is definitely necessary if we think about an automobile where the driver has to look through the window screen and not to the touch screen so you would put your hand on a special future tablet and it'll, it'll like massage your hand or it'll, it'll do something like it'll pressure, it'll tell you where to go or something. Or maybe, I mean, it would show me there are certain buttons on, on the touchscreen, uh, which I just feel I can't see, but uh, maybe I can feel this is the yes button, this is the no button, I have, don't have to look at it. But you need some kind of motors or something inside to push the yeah. stuff out. What I mean, would that be? There are very, various technologies. Traditional vibrator, um, which is already used in, in cell phones. Then there are, you, you, this can be done just mechanically, it can be done electrically, and there are also technologies out there which just use an electrical field to uh, get a feeling into my finger. This is possible. It's also possible with our material, but we haven't incorporated in, in this, uh, this, this in our devices yet. And this is just one thing, there's many things. Many things are possible. One thing I would like to show, it's very, very simple, but it really shows you the principle. This is very simple. This is just one pixel um, touch, touch switch. So I, I, um, I touch it and this will light up. I don't touch it, it goes on. It's nothing on the surface which is conductive. It's just sensing my finger by uh, a capacitor. Just touching. Yeah. Nice and um, and so this this curvature is not possible with standard materials. Nice. That's cool. Uh, so and a whole bunch of other demos around here. This one. This is smart window. So electrically, I can switch it from uh, from opaque to opaque to transparent. It's totally so opaque. Example, it's only opaque and this can, could be used for example for, for privacy. It's just made out of plastic. So it's uh, a film, many, a couple of films that have been put together to drive this. This is the so-called uh, PDLC technology. This is commercial. The film, um, the feed of film is commercial. All right. So what do you think about the ID Tech Tech X? The show. conference, yeah. I think it, it, it is great. Um, we're having a lot of traffic at, at the at the booth, and uh, we hope to make lots of contacts. I mean, the the main reason here for us is to make business. 